trying to think about how long it is. I'm just taking it minute by minute, you know. For the first time, we're hearing jailhouse conversations between Aaron Hernandez and the people closest to him. They are among more than 900 phone calls released by the Bristol County Sheriff's Office. At times, Hernandez actually sounds hopeful, but you can also hear tough conversations between him and his mother. WBZ's Beth Germano has been digging into the call. She's here tonight with what we've learned so far. Beth? Well, there are phone calls in the immediate aftermath of his arrest, trying to stay positive, even picturing a future as a free man. Hernandez was eventually convicted of the murder of Odin Lloyd, but he was trying to convince friends and family of his innocence and letting some of them know he'd work out financial arrangements. Hundreds and hundreds of phone calls recorded on these discs, providing a glimpse of the emotion and optimism Aaron Hernandez felt inside prison walls following his June 2013 arrest for the murder of Odin Lloyd. Tearful conversations with his fiancée, Shayana Jenkins, who vowed to stay by his side. So unreal to me. Just like, I don't know, I just feel so empty and so like, I don't know. I prefer that you were with us, you know. Yeah. That's what kills me, you know. I just want I just want to start over. Difficult conversations with his mother Terry, who initially told him it was too difficult to visit him at the Bristol County House of Corrections. How do we get into this? Um, but I'm innocent, so I'm gonna get out of this I just you don't know how long to try. It could be a whole year, it could be two years. I don't want to come visit you. I love you, but I can't see you like that. Hernandez said reading and letter writing was the one thing that kept him occupied, while complaining he was in a, quote, insane asylum, the first few days when he was put on suicide watch as a precaution. Sheriff Thomas Hodgson, who talked frequently with Hernandez, said he lived in his own reality. He had an ability in his mind to be able to take whatever realities were there and put them in his little sort of metal trap of a mind and lock everything else out. That also meant staying positive for himself and everyone else. Are you still trying to keep a, a positive outlook or, I mean... Yeah, definitely. It was clear Hernandez had no idea of the attention his case was receiving in the media until he was told by family and friends who complained of the harassment. As for the volume of calls, Sheriff Hodgson says Hernandez had more money than most other prisoners to be able to afford them. David? All right, Beth, thank you.